Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Steve and Marcus here, as always, with your Hump Day Inspiration and Real Estate <clears throat> Tip of the Week. Steve's going to get us going. All right. Hey, Kevin Hurd, great workout today. You really brought us to us in our boot camp class, and you know we do it. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 5.30 in the morning, 6.30 in the morning, Kevin Hur and Steve Tolliver, they lead us in our boot camp class. Where are you at in your workout journey? Have you started it? You doing that plank challenge? Get at it. Let today be that day. And today, we have a little quote for you. And it comes from Jimmy Johnson. And he says, the difference between, uh, here we go. The difference between ordinary and extraordinary is that little extra. Jimmy Johnson. There you go. All right, all right. And a real estate tip of the week for this week is why you should not be afraid of an as-is purchase. So uh, we'll take buyers out and we'll come across a home that's either an estate sale that's being sold as-is or a uh, bank-owned home or a short sale. Those are traditionally as-is sales as well. And it kind of scares them off. They feel like, okay, if I put an offer in on this house and I put up my earnest money, I won't be able to get my earnest money back if something comes up. And that's not the case. Actually, as-is homes are usually priced um, slightly below market value because of either they're outdated or their condition. And so if you put in an offer on an as-is home, um, you can st you still want to do your home inspection. And if the home inspection presents any red flags to you, then you still reserve the right to withdraw your offer and get your earnest money back. So don't be afraid of that. Even on a home that's not being sold as is, if there's a multiple offer scenario and the home looks like it's in really solid condition, um, there are certain times where include it as is uh, clause on the contract and that will help you beat out the, the other offers. Again, you still do your home inspection after that to, and your due diligence and reserve the right to withdraw that contract. So if you have any other questions about that, feel free to hit us up. Our email is in the post and our phone number. Excellent. Great tip. Great tip. And our scripture reference for today comes from Psalms chapter 91, verse 2. And it says like this. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Psalms chapter 91, verse 2. It is hump day inspiration right. with your real estate tip. Yes, sir. All right, thank you guys for joining us. We will see you next Wednesday. Please let, refer us if you know anybody who's looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate. Be see blessed. you later. Austin Schaefer, City Segment. We see you, man. Take care.